We're gonna be getting ready for a three day trip to London. You are gonna notice a lot of stuff is just like loosely packed. London is the most strict place I have ever been for security. This is everything that I will be taking liquid wise. I think this is what we're gonna take to heat up on the plane. So I sit in the main cabin but work business class. This plane is so big. We're actually in the middle right now. Things have definitely changed. It's, it's tight in here. But anyways, let's finally go. Hello friends and welcome back. I hope you guys all enjoyed part one. In part two, I am going to make a very crucial mistake. I am going to royally mess up. But anyways, before we get to see uh, the nervous breakdown, I did want to go ahead and thank today's sponsor. So if you cannot guess, you should be able to guess. Like it's actually problematic how much I am like just in love with them. But today's video is being sponsored by, you guessed it, GlassesUSA.com. I am just in love with all of their glasses. And that is because GlassesUSA.com cuts out the middle man. So this allows you to get up to 70% off retail price so you can now shop glasses at affordable pricing from the comfort of your own home. And one of the many reasons I love GlassesUSA.com is because they offer over 9,000 different styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses. So you can find something in every conceivable style, shape, color, whatever you are looking for. They have in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, as well as designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, Fendi, Prada, Balenciaga, and so many more. They also have a lot of specialty glasses like sports glasses, kids glasses, <laughs> safety glasses. So basically what I'm saying is if you are looking for something, there is a very, very, very high chance they are gonna have it for you. And you can get a complete pair of eyeglasses or sunglasses starting at only $30. And free basic prescription lenses are included with any frame, and you can add almost any kind of prescription lens to almost any pair of glasses, including like single vision, bifocal, progressive lenses, and you're not gonna suffer any of the quality because GlassesUSA.com makes all of their lenses in their own state-of-the-art lab. So you're gonna get the same high quality that you would expect at any glasses store. But one of my absolute favorite things about GlassesUSA.com is when you shop there, you can expect to get a risk-free shopping experience. So this means you can expect free shipping and returns, 100% money back guarantee with a full refund within 14 days of delivery, no questions asked, as well as a 365 day product warranty. And if you have any reservations about what the glasses are gonna look like on you, you are in luck because GlassesUSA.com has a virtual mirror. So this allows you to upload a photo of yourself. You just move the crosses on top of your eyes and there you can try on all of the glasses online to see exactly what they're gonna look like before you buy them. So if you want to shop any of the five pairs of amazing eyeglasses or sunglasses that I have shown you today or find something for yourself, they have over 9,000 different styles. You're gonna find something that you are going to love. So if you wanna do that, you can head to the link down below in my description box and shop away to your heart's desire. Once again, thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring today's video now let's finally get into it so I just looked up on my GPS somewhere that's very familiar to me that I think I went in like maybe my last vlog um, it's about a mile and a half walk from where I'm at right now so I think we're just gonna walk that way I'm definitely like more in the city center there's like way more people way more stuff over here so I guess we're just gonna keep wandering around So I just got to Kensington Palace. I don't know if you guys can see it behind me, but I just kind of wanted to come here for a minute just because this was like one of the first places I ever went to the first time I came to London. It's so beautiful. It's like connected to Hyde Park. So it's just like so peaceful and lovely and you just get fresh air. But I just came in from like the city center and it was so busy. There was like so many people, so much going on, tons of shopping. Like, so if that was what I wanted to do, I was there. But I, I don't really feel like that's today's mood. So I'm just kind of like gonna chill here and then keep wandering and see kind of what we bump in to and I feel like that's basically how this vlog is gonna go just what do we run into look at this you can just like walk underneath it how pretty so as I was walking um, through Hyde Park I kind of got this idea and I was like let's look let's just see how far Gordon's wine bar is from here because I've been dying to go it was like next on my to-do list next time I was in London and I was just like I don't want the distance to stop me so it's a little under three miles walk, so about an hour over there, but it's also over by like the Ferris wheel and like Big Ben and all that stuff out there. So I think we're gonna do it. If this cold doesn't defeat us, we might have to stop and get another thing of coffee.
just touching base with you guys. I can't get my sweater. I'm now in Green Park. We are two of the three miles in and I am feeling it. I'm like, no regrets. Like you wanted to walk early, you're gonna walk it. We only have like 20 minutes left. So we're gonna do it. But I just want everybody to know I am in pain. I'm doing this for the vlog. I'm also starting to get hungry. So hopefully we can find like some food out there. I'm a sucker for fish and chips. So maybe if we're really lucky. There will be a place to do fish and chips out there. But all right, we're on the home stretch. Last mile down one third of the way. 0.33. <laughs> so to finish off the last mile of my journey, I just really soaked in all of the beautiful things that make London, London, like these traditional telephone booths. But as we were getting closer, you can see it got very, very busy. So once I actually got to Gordon's, I saw there is a line way out the door. I was still able to get inside though and just go straight to the bar. But as you can see, it's this beautiful historic cave and it's lit up completely by candlelight. So I went and got a glass of just the house white wine at the bar and really just looked at all of the old photographs, even made a joke that I was having wine with the queen. So I just left Gordon's wine bar. Now, there are some things I loved and also some things I learned. Um, the first being that the house wine, uh, the white is fabulous. It's so good. It's just like this underground place. If you go, like you can just like go straight up, skip the line, get a glass of wine, but you don't get a table. So I had to sneak over to like kind of film like the cool parts of it. You can kind of stay in like the picture area, but the actual like under the ground, you need to like wait in line for that stuff. So I didn't really want to do that. The line was going to be so long and I didn't want to waste all the time just standing there. So I skipped it this time. I wasn't really supposed to be drinking wine anyways. My rheumatologist would be very upset. So I only had half a glass, but now I want to go over and see the London Eye. I can kind of see a glimpse of it in front of me. And then after that, we are going to head closer back to the hotel, go to Waitrose and find some food. Does she notice the things I notice? How she practices piano on her thigh Imagining the keys inside her mind Does she notice? Oh my gosh, you guys, y'all don't know how good this feels. Like, my feet are throbbing. Like, it hurts so bad. It was so busy everywhere in London. Like, it's Saturday. My Uber driver told me there was, like, multiple events going on with, like, rugby and other stuff. So I think there was just, like, so many people. It was, like, it was a lot. So I'm ready to kind of decompress and just have like a nice dinner by myself. And then I figure after I eat, I'm gonna be so tired. Cause again, I still have not slept from last night. So right now in Dallas, like I really wonder what time it is. So right now in Dallas, it's two in the afternoon. So, <laughs> so I have been up for well over 24 hours. The good news is though, that if I go to bed early enough, I can get up early enough. Now I do know it's Sunday and stuff seems to open a little bit later in Europe on Sundays, or just in general. I mean, to the States, does stuff open up later on Sundays? My brain doesn't even want to function. I'm just like too tired. It's running on fumes and caffeine at this point, like leftover caffeine, but anyways, I'm just figuring I'm gonna get some room service and just have like a little one-on-one -on -one time with myself and you guys. So I guess a, a two-on-one time, I don't, <laughs> It just sounds weird. It sounds so weird. I'm gonna just stop talking. Also, this hotel does a five pound breakfast. Pounds being money, not like weight wise. So you can pay five pounds and get breakfast. I don't know if it's just for crew or for everybody, but anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbing cause I don't even know half of what's coming out of my mouth anymore. And let's order some room service. <laughs> so the food just got here. It doesn't look like the best fish and chips I've ever had, but also not the worst. Then also have some mushy peas. I'm just excited. I'm hungry y'all. But I'm going to eat now and then immediately go to sleep and I will see you guys whenever we wake up, which will hopefully be like at like a reasonable morning time and not like four in the morning. <laughs> well, it happened. Exactly what we didn't want to happen happened. I kind of saw it coming because I think it happened to me like last time I did this. So here is the chips. These are like the best thing ever. They are so amazing. These are the chips that we both were like dying for. They're the sweet chili and sour cream kettle chips and they're so good. I grabbed my sister two bags and picked me up a bag and then these are just like the reduced fat ones but um, my mother-in-law had some that were like so good in Germany. So I'm hoping these will be similar to that. 
Also, you guys, I brought like my hot water bottle. This thing is money on international flights. Those flights can get really, really cold, especially in the galleys. And I love to just like fill this up with like hot water, like from the little coffee thing. This angle is just the angle of all angles. <laughs> I set up the camera and I'm like, I'm too tired to find anything higher. Like y'all are just gonna get some double chin of the nostrils action, but. Ooh. Oh, it smells good. So, this is what they look like, and they taste like heaven. They're so good. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have a handful. Only, I just dropped the other half. I'm probably just gonna have a handful of these and then um, wait for breakfast. <laughs> A pro tip I always bring two different converters especially if y'all have like stuff that are like these because they don't seem to really have stuff they're not really updated yet they just have like the USB and like the regular plugins so I always at least try to break two that way I can have like my tablet and my phone both charging at the same time and another pro tip is they also have like things that turn them off or turn them on so make sure that they're also turned on and that your stuff is charging because it's not like the states where they just stay on all night good morning you guys i just woke up to my alarm so probably around like 4 30 i think i was like able to like fall back asleep but I did look up online while, <laughs> while I was awake. I did look up online about what the breakfast here looks like and it looks good. It looks good. Like they have a traditional like English breakfast where it's like sausage with tomatoes and mushrooms and beans and hash browns and eggs and, and all that. And it looked very, very good. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Sorry, I had to change my camera. Ooh, I had to change my, my camera battery. So, I'm gonna brush my teeth, kind of just freshen, <laughs> freshen up, and then we'll actually come back and like start getting ready. If I get ready fast enough, right now it's like nine o'clock, but if I can get ready fast enough, maybe we'll go take a little tour outside, find something to do. Yeah, and then I've gotta get some packing up and make sure that I've got all my liquids ready to go into the liquid bag. Like I said, London does not play games. The queen cares about the liquids. So let's go ahead and just like start getting ready and see what happens. So normally I would like suction y'all to the mirror, um, but there's like not a lot and then on this mirror, it's much bigger and I feel like I could do it on here, but there's no plug nearby because it's like the bathroom door. So I don't think we're gonna get our makeup montage today. I think I think that's it. We're not gonna be able to get ready and chat at the same time, unfortunately. Well, maybe, maybe we can do hair on this mirror, makeup on that. We'll have to see how this goes. You guys, <laughs> this might be the biggest mistake of all the mistakes I have ever made. So I plugged my Dyson Airwrap into the switch and went to turn it on and it did not turn on and I was like, that's unsettling. So I go to turn it on and I do a reset. It still will not turn on. And so then I'm like looking up, why is my Dyson not turning on? in London because mind you, I have brought the same Dyson. I've used it in Mexico City, in Colombia. I just used it, like I've used it in other places. But apparently, if you take a Dyson Airwrap that was bought in Europe and use it in the States, it will work. But if you take, <laughs> if you take a Dyson Airwrap bought in the States and use it in Europe, it will not work. It will not work. I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any other hair tool. And we all saw what my hair looked minutes ago. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I don't. I don't. I don't know. What are we going to do? I'm like literally thinking of all of the ways to style my hair without a hair tool and I have none. I have none. I didn't bring any of my styling stuff because of the liquid rules. So all I've got 
<laughs> this is the only clip I brought. So are we gonna are we gonna clip it? Like, you guys, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So <laughs> after after having um, a little over a quarter life crisis. Maybe it's like more than a quarter life crisis. I guess it just depends on how long I live, but regardless of the situation. And I had to call guest services. I was like, I don't see a hair dryer. They said it's in the wardrobe, which that was already cute in itself, very British. But anyways, found it. So here's the plan. I'm not good with a blow dryer. I'm not, I can't, I've never been one to style it. But, 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 I do have over, over yonder, this attachment, which I use for my bags. So I feel like if I roll my bangs and then just blow dry them with the heat, hopefully something will happen with that. <laughs> Worst case, we have a clip. Worst case, we have a clip. Worst case, we have a clip. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna try this out. That way, if it doesn't work while we're doing makeup, we have time to come up with a plan C. <laughs> a plan C. Okay. All right, let's just go. One eternity later. Okay, listen here. Listen here. Shh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I also did my bangs. I'm probably gonna have to run through them once again, but I think we're finessing this. It's not pretty. We're not, we're not saying it's good, but it's better. It's working. So I think as long as we hit around the face in that top layer, we'll make it. <laughs> We'll make this work. Might take me, might take me much longer, especially with my arthritic wrist that is so swollen and ibuprofen's not helping. So I'm sure this is not going to be the most fun situation I have ever been in. But it's not, we're not in critical condition anymore. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. <laughs> I'm feeling okay. So let, let's, I'm just gonna take a, a tea time out and uh, get this done and we'll, we'll check back in. <laughs> all right everything is in there it all fit all of my bags are basically packed up and we are good to go i think we made the most of it we're a little frizzy it's not perfect but it's going to work all of my stuff is basically packed up hopefully i have all the liquids in their own bag but i think we're ready i think we are ready so let's go ahead and get our stuff and head downstairs to take the shuttle to the airport <laughs>